On a recent trip to Dollar Tree, me and my son were walking down the aisles and we noticed a lot of Thanksgiving type items put out on prominent display. And he said to me, they've got almost everything you need here for a Thanksgiving dinner. And I got to thinking about it and I said, you know, I think you're right. So let's try to do a traditional Thanksgiving dinner as cheap as possible using only Dollar Tree items. So that's what I'm going to try to do today. Besides turkey, the cornerstone of any Thanksgiving dinner is stuffing. Dollar Tree did not have turkey flavored stuffing, but they did have chicken. And to be honest with you, I'm not sure that I could tell the difference between the two anyway. So I'm going to try out the chicken. Stuffing is a very quick and easy thing to make. So there's not a whole lot to see here. So I'm just kind of skimming over the process real quick. And within a couple minutes, the stuffing was done. And I had my first Dollar Tree item ready to go. Next, I picked up one packet of Hungry Jack mashed potatoes. A very close second to the stuffing, I think, is mashed potatoes for a Thanksgiving dinner. I can't remember any Thanksgiving dinner when we didn't have mashed potatoes. And again, mashed potatoes are a very straightforward process, quick and easy. Not a lot to see here. I am using two items that I did not get from Dollar Tree, which are butter and milk. But I consider these items staples that most people would have in their home anyway. So I feel I'm still sticking to only using the Dollar Tree items list. Next, turkey gravy. And I've actually had this gravy before. It's Campbell's. It's a name brand. So I already know that it's pretty good. And to cook the gravy, I'm just going to nuke it for a few minutes in the microwave. No reason to really dirty a pot on the stove or anything like that. So I cooked the gravy for a few minutes, stirred it to blend everything together well, and the gravy's ready to go. Next, I need the pasta for the macaroni and cheese. And it's a really big box of pasta. I'm not going to use all this. And I also picked up one small block of cheddar cheese. I'm going to use about half the box of pasta and save the rest for another time. While my pasta's boiling, I'm going to go ahead and grate the cheese. I can't even remember the last time that I grated cheese because I usually buy my cheese already grated or shredded. But this cheese was making a real mess as long as it can melt into the pasta. That's all I was really looking for. My pasta is done, so I'm going to drain the pasta, but I'm going to reserve a little bit of the pasta water for the macaroni and cheese. While everything's still hot, I'm going to put the pasta back into the pot. Add some butter. Add a little salt, a little pepper, and then I'm going to add my cheese because I want the cheese to be able to melt as much as possible without having to put it back on the burner. So it's going to take some stirring to get the cheese melted in there well. I'm going to add about half a cup of milk and I'm going to keep stirring. And I'm actually going to stir for a couple minutes to get everything mixed in pretty well. And you can see right here the cheese is kind of stringy. So I'm going to go ahead and add some pasta water and see if that can kind of help emulsify that cheese. It wasn't quite enough, so I'm going to use a little bit more. And to be perfectly honest, I was pretty happy at the way the macaroni and cheese came out. I was able to get all the cheese melted and it looked pretty good. Hopefully it'll taste as good as it looks. Next, I bought a pack of rolls, which you've got to have some bread at least to sop up your gravy and maybe even make a small turkey sandwich. Even though the direction said, don't grease the pan, I sprayed a little bit of nonstick cooking oil on the bottom, and I'm gonna brush the tops of the rolls with some melted butter, just to give them that nice brown appearance. I'm gonna bake these for six minutes, and these rolls are really looking good. To finish things off, I went with some sweet potatoes. Now, I'm not a big dessert guy, and after a big Thanksgiving meal, I rarely eat dessert. But to keep in check with the traditional Thanksgiving meal, I went ahead and got these sweet potatoes. A lot of people like the sweet potato casseroles. That's not really my thing, but I do like sweet potatoes. So I think these are going to be pretty good. And for these, I'm just going to nuke these again in the microwave for a few minutes, and hopefully they taste as good as they smell and look. Now, for those of you who are wondering what I'm going to do about the turkey, we already know that Dollar Tree is not going to have a very good selection of turkey. Other than some turkey bacon or turkey franks, 
the only other thing that I could have possibly used was lunch meat or maybe some of these turkey and cheddar slices. So I had to go with the turkey lunch meat. There was really no other choice to stick to a traditional Thanksgiving meal. So I bought two packs of this deli style oven roasted turkey breast. And I really racked my brain to figure out what I could do with it and try to keep it as traditional as possible. In the end though, I didn't want to get too crazy with it. I could have cooked this in the pan or something like that. Maybe got a little crispiness on the outside, but that's really not the traditional Thanksgiving meal style turkey. So I decided I would just heat the turkey up and possibly cover it with a little gravy or something like that. So here's the heated up turkey. It really doesn't look all that great, but it doesn't look terrible either. Here's what my Dollar Tree traditional Thanksgiving dinner looks like. And to be honest, it does not look bad. One of the things I was really impressed with was the macaroni and cheese. It was really good. The mashed potatoes and gravy was good. The stuffing was pretty good also. The rolls were good. The sweet potatoes were good. And last but not least, the turkey was not bad. But I thought maybe I can do a little something else with the turkey. So I decided I would take the turkey and roll some stuffing on the inside of it, put a little salt and pepper, and cover it with gravy. Here's the crazy thing. This was actually very good. I was very surprised at how good this tasted. And actually, my son said he really liked these. So in the end, I feel that the Dollar Tree Thanksgiving dinner was a success. It's not as good as doing a roasted turkey or something like that, but it was pretty good for what it was, especially for only spending $9. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, consider subscribing to the channel. As always, I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you in the next video.